Alright, we're going to look at dividing fractions using the greatest common factor to cross cancel. My example problem is 3 eighths divided by 1 fourth. Now, when you're d dividing fractions, the first thing we want to do is to rewrite the first fraction 3 eighths. So I'm going to rewrite 3 eighths and it is not changing at all. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change that division sign into a multiplication sign. And we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So when you change the division sign into a multiplication sign, that means we need to change this fraction, 1 fourth, into its reciprocal. Now what is a reciprocal? A reciprocal is basically when you flip the numerator and denominator. So the reciprocal of 1 fourth would actually be 4 over 1. The definition of a reciprocal is two numbers in which their product is equal to 1. And if we had multiplied these two, the product would be equal to 1. So I changed my division sign to a multiplication sign. Now I changed my fraction to the reciprocal. So I have 4 over 1. You can see the numerator and denominator simply switched places. Okay. Make sure the only number that you're doing the reciprocal for is the number that follows that division sign. Also, a common mistake is people forget to change the sign to multiplication. So the only time you use a reciprocal is if you change the division sign into a multiplication sign. Then you do the reciprocal of the fraction that followed that division sign. Now we can use cross-canceling. All right. What we want to do with our cross canceling is to simply look for a common factor that's in the numerator and a common factor that's in the denominator. And we can see uh, 4 and 8 have a common factor. So 4 and 8, the greatest common factor, is actually the number 4. So I'm going to divide the numerator 4 by 4, which is equal to 1. And I'm going to divide the denominator 8 by 4, which is equal to 2. So I factored out a 4 from the numerator and the denominator. Now, my last step is to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So I will rewrite this as 3 times 1 over 2 times 1, <laughs> and if we look a little bit uh, closer at this, 3 times 1 is of course going to be equal to 3, and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Now, 3 halves is not my final answer. This is not in simplest form. So I'm going to have to convert the improper fraction to a mixed number. 3 halves is the same as 2 halves plus 1 half. And we know that 2 halves is actually equal to 1. So we have 1 and 1 half as our final answer. The other way you could simplify the improper fraction is by taking 3 divided by 2 and of course you would have a remainder of 1 which would be 1 out of 2 parts so it would be 1 and 1 half. Alright, I hope this helped you out with understanding dividing fractions using greatest common factor to cross cancel.